So welcome to another episode of The Alchemist Tells a Lie. Um, we're going to be talking about tempering today, and we're going to temper some chocolate. Um, I'm going to assume you know what tempered chocolate is, but like, a, like everybody, you, you're probably having some problems with it. It seems to be everybody's Achilles heel. Um, so this, this is actually um, a different way of tempering chocolate that is, that's not that common out there, but oh, it's, it's really a sweet way to do it, and, you, and hopefully you can, you can do it. Um, so just to give you just a little bit of oversight, um, an overview. So what we've got here is some, um, some bloom chocolate, a whole bunch of different ones that I've just poured up, and you, you can see what happens. It's chalky, and these spots, and just everything. It's a mess. Um, what we've got here is just an, a, a piece of nice tempered chocolate. Um, and what we're going to use today is a piece of cocoa butter seed. Um, it's, it's also called, um, when it's in a softer form, cocoa butter silk. Um, and basically all it is is tempered cocoa butter. Um, but it's created, again, differently than any other way. And the way you make this is you take cocoa butter, and um, unlike tempering chocolate and bringing it all these various up and down temperatures, what you do is put this in an incubator, um, the cocoa butter, at um, 93 degrees Celsius, excuse me, 90 degrees, fa degrees Fahrenheit, and you let it sit there for, for 24 hours. You don't touch it, you don't stir it, you just let it sit. And over that time, um, slowly, the crystal butter, cocoa butter crystals form into type 5 cocoa butter crystals. There you go. Um, you take it out and you can spread it on you know, a piece of parchment paper, which is what I did on this, and just smooth it out, and you're left with this, and it's nice and stable. So what this is going to do is, I'm going to grate some up, and we're going to add it to this chocolate that just a few minutes ago, and I'm going to check it again, is sitting at... 93 degrees Fahrenheit, um, really pretty warm from what you would normally expect for tempering chocolate. Um, and by mixing the two, we're going to introduce it at a 2% ratio, so I've got a kilogram of chocolate here. I'm going to add 20 grams of cocoa butter, um, and it's going to introduce all the seed it possibly needs, um, basically all the crystals, and they're going to form up around that very quickly. Um, and we're going to pour it up, show you how to do that, and that's it, and we're done. So. We're going to grate it, we're going to pour it in, we're going to stir it, we're going to put it in the molds. It's real simple. So here we go. Um, I've weighed this piece out already, so we're just going to grate it up. And it's mostly to give it a lot of surface area is why I'm doing this. And it's going to melt really easily and it lets us just keep going as opposed to throwing a hunk in there, which just doesn't work. Um, There we go. And again, I'm going to give this actually just a stir. I want to verify my temperature. Um, we want it nice and warm. We want it warm enough, and again, 93 to 94 degrees actually, warm enough to melt this cocoa butter, um, but not get too cool. Um, be, and w part of the reason we can keep this so warm is because these are, they're pure crystals. They're very strong. They're very aggressive in their their crystallization or their tempering ability. So that's it. We're going to dump that in. Just get it stirred in. And what I really like about this, again, is that you don't have to bring the temperature up and down which is a real conundrum, conundrum for a lot of people. Um, doesn't really matter whether this is milk or dark or white. It all works the same. It really takes a lot of the variable, variability out of the tempering. So there we go. So I'm actually going to let that sit for just a minute or so, a couple minutes to give it time to dissolve, and I'm going to give it another stir. I'm going to verify. Yep, that is, that is holding fine at, at about... 92 degrees, 93 degrees. Um, so to give you just a, a brief 
idea of what's going to happen here. Um, we'll give that a stir. I'm going to pour these in reasonably quickly. I'm going to take the back edge of a knife. You could use a spatula. Um, if I need to, I will swipe them one single time. I'm going to wrap them to get air bubbles out. Um, and we're going to set it off to the side. It's going to set up. It'll crystallize r much faster than you expect. Um, you really probably won't need to refrigerate it. You can if you want to. Um, and then uh, we'll, we'll cut a little bit and come back and I'll show you the, um, the tempered chocolate. We'll unmold it. So, all right. Let's do this. Let's again, give this another stir. And I can see those little particles have melted in. going to do is you could ladle this, but I'm just going to sit here, pour that, that, and there you go. And I could continue on with the other mold, but this is demonstration purposes. Just want to wrap that a little bit. I'm actually not going to need to swipe it, but if you do, if you've gotten too much, and I'll show you actually. There's a little piece here. And I'm doing this just to get these slight air bubbles that I've introduced to come up to the surface. I, I can see the bubbles forming and popping. And when I talked about swiping, it's just that. One single swipe, cleans off the mold really nicely. And I said one single and I did two, but what you don't want to do is if you get this high, you don't want to take your time and smooth that out. You're just going to, going to introduce um, disturbances and it's going to actually cause it to bloom possibly. So there we go. Um, that is it. That's tempering chocolate with seed. Uh, we, the chocolate is set up. Um, it, it's been a couple hours. It, it was pretty well done at it was starting to set up actually within minutes of having poured it up. Um, so we're just going to unmold it. Yeah, here. Oh, yeah, it didn't even have to flip it that hard. The, these flip right out. They contracted so tightly. Um, and it's pretty much that simple. Um, three nice bars. Um, one thing I do want to show is in regards to tempering. Um, all of these have slight distortions on uh, the top of the bars. And pr probably at least once a week, um, I get somebody sending me a photo that says, I'm having trouble tempering. Um, I'm getting bloom on the top of my bar. And 95% of the time, this is what they're talking about. Um, it's not bloom. It is, um, these molds have a very slight flex to them. And what happens is, as chocolate crystallizes, it contracts and it pulls away from that mold. And that pulling away um, is incremental. And usually, wherever it finds one spot and pops off. And that creates these, these surface distortions. Um, unless you're using high-end professional tempering, um, usually full setups, this is what you're going to get. Um, there's nothing wrong with it, um, so it's fine. So. All right, that is it, and give it a try.